Don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. You know, these Irish songs are just... i got to find some good ones. What is this one? Did <laughs> your they all sound like this. From yeah, they do. There you go. Cause there's something in you, Irish. Will you tell me where? That sounds like a pickup line. Did your mother it come does. from Ireland because there's something in your Irish? Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, of course, that's what the ballads are. <laughs> Some of them. All right. Uh, th- there's an election today in Israel. It is the election of Benjamin P- Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Um, so, in a frenzied last day of campaigning, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday ruled out the establishment of a Palestinian state and vowed to keep building East Jerusalem settlements as he appealed to hardline voters on the eve of Israel's closely contested general election. That seems to be the major thing that people are talking about is his uh, statement that there would never be a Palestinian state. Mm -hmm. My question, and I don't even begin to profess to understand this, but my question is, a, isn't Jordan a Palestinian state? Mm-hmm. And and if there, if, and if there, and he says that if a Palestinian state was established in the West Bank, that it would just be the beginning of the end of Israel. That's his statement. That's ben- Benjamin Netanyahu's statement. Mm-hmm. Uh, recent opinion polls show that his party, the Likud party, and forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it, lagged behind Isaac Herzog's Zionist Union mm-hmm. party, Herzog, his opponent, has vowed to revive peace efforts with the Palestinians. That sounds good to me, but see, I don't understand this uh, whole thing. Uh, Also, he promises to repair ties with the U.S. I didn't realize we had issues uh, that were tearing U.S. from Israel apart. Um, I I know that the president had an issue with Netanyahu speaking to Congress. Yeah, yeah, there's been a few things. But anyway, so my, my question is simple. Uh, if you want to call in and give me the answer to this question, what do you think? I mean, what do you think about this? I mean, mm-hmm. I can keep it really wide open. Or maybe specifically, what do you think about his statement that there will be no Palestinian state? Or what do you think about the, um, the what the future holds? What do you see in the future if he is not kept as the prime minister? Will it be better for the area? Will it be better for the world? Mm-hmm. You know, it won't change anything about the other troubled areas of the world, but that's one big troubled area. So I will Certainly. shut up and let you talk. 622-9622, good morning. You're on the air. Good morning, good morning. Uh, um, Israel is a parliamentary democracy, so people do not vote uh, for their prime minister. They vote for their delegate to the uh, Israeli Knesset, which is the uh, equivalent of the House of Commons in, in England. And uh, when the party that uh, gets the most delegates 
uh, in the Knesset then chooses the new prime minister, uh, which is usually the party leader. Uh, um, Mr. Netanyahu is the leader of his party and would be the prime minister if his party uh, prevails in, in the election. Now, many times uh, in Israel's uh, history of elections, no party has secured a majority and there had to be a coalition government where uh, uh, one of the minor parties throws in with the, the, the party getting uh, the most seats short of majority. And then uh, a compromise is worked out as to who, serv- uh, who serves as the prime minister. Uh, so, Okay, uh, I, I appreciate your knowledge yeah. on that, Jim. So I have a question for you. Uh, I'm listening. W- with that said... Um, why was there a, dis- a decision yesterday in the news that the, the his opponent? Um, let me find them here. Herzog. Let's see. It was Herzog's main partner, former Foreign Minister Zippy Livni, had given up an agreement to rotate the Prime Minister spot with him if the alliance wins, because because the, the voters of Israel said, "Look, if we're voting you in, we want you. We don't want you to be rotating back and forth." So it sounds like what you're saying is is the the way it's in stone, but people really want one person. Well, uh, you know, that's a matter to be decided by the Israeli voters. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I appreciate your knowledge on this. I, 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 that's interesting what you've told us. Mm-hmm. But, but so you could be, elect, this would be like saying, okay, we elect uh, the president, but, you know, next week it could be the vice president in charge. Right, exactly. Yeah, I believe, I believe uh, Mr. Netanyahu is in a coalition government right now that his party doesn't have an absolute majority. Uh, and that's what the rotation uh, uh, thing is about. Okay, but so one more question. This is an opinion question. What is your opinion if, okay, so now that you've explained that, but if the other party wins and Herzog is the guy in charge now after Netanyahu's no longer, who says he will reestablish peaceful talks with Palestinians and Palestine, whatever, isn't Jordan Palestine? I don't understand this whole thing. Well, I, I, the original partition... Uh, created by the United Nations, uh, created Jordan and Israel uh, as the uh, uh, the inheritors of the uh, the British Palestinian mandate. Right, which was uh, Palestine which was created by the by the League of Nations at the end of World War One. Okay, and between World War One and 1948, it was all considered. Uh, Palestine. It was called the British Palestinian Mandate. It was a crown colony of, of uh, Great Britain. So then in 1948, Israel, dis- and, Israel and, was and established... Prior to, and prior to World War I, it was part of the Turkish Empire. Or Ottoman, right? Went Ottoman? all the way down Ottoman. to the Arabian Sea. The, the present country of Saudi Arabia was part of Turkey in those days. Right, and but but Alaska was part of Russia, wasn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean things. Uh, that's, that's, I mean, but, but I guess my point in saying that, not to be silly or trite, but aren't we, yeah. aren't we, just looking at something and saying this is the way it used to be, and it should still be that way? I mean, if if we thought that way here, the Cherokee Nation would still be the Cherokee Nation. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the Seminole Nation would still be the Seminole Nation. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, so uh, you know, it's, it, when when the state of Israel, when the state of Israel was created, it uh, it offered citizenship to uh, all of the Palestinians that uh, chose to stay in Israel rather than uh, move into Jordan or uh, or Syria. All right. So your opinion, and, your opinion uh, on the the. Um, so there, there are so-called Palestinian people that are citizens of Israel today. And, and, and in fact, the way I understand it, and the way I understand it, even in the government of Israel. Yes, there are there are uh, Palestinian people within the Israeli parliament. Which would mean the, that their religion of choice is is Islam. Mm-hmm. 
the religion of choice is Islam. Is Israel uh, offers freedom of religion, yeah. unlike its unlike its neighboring states. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. So, so do you think yeah, it's there, there are Christians in, in uh, living in Israel? Right, right. Okay, uh, there are there are some Buddhists living in Israel. Okay, but the opinion question address that if you could. I'm I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I mean, do you think that if Herzog's party is voted in, the Zionist Union Party? that it would be better for the region and for the world, or do you think it would be um, uh, a death sentence for Israel? I think it's kind of up to the Israeli voters, you know? <laughs> hmm, okay. All right, Jim, I appreciate your knowledge you know, on I mean, that. All, all, pol- all politics is local, somebody once said. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. But if yeah. we're... But if we're you know. Okay, thank you, Jim, appreciate that. All right, good morning. I'll let somebody else talk. Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day, by the way. Yep. Well, I appreciate the education. I, I, th- I think that the analysts who are trying to persuade us to have an opinion on this mm-hmm. either want us to believe that if Netanyahu is voted out, in, in spite of what Jim said, Netanyahu is apparently the focal person here. Yes. If he's voted out, then it would be the best thing that could happen for the region. Other people want us to believe that if he's voted out, it would be the worst thing that could happen for the region. Right, Israel might And so I'm just wondering what your opinion is. Do you think it's Mm -hmm. the best thing or the worst thing? And yeah, the voters of Israel will be the ones who have to call that shot because I'm not going to the polls for this one. No, but we have an opinion. And I mean, and we have an opinion because the United States typically has supported Israel in militarily speaking, financially speaking. Yeah. We've been kind of uh, friends with, it's the only... Uh, democracy in the area from the way I understand it. Right, exactly. Uh, so, do you think it's better for the world or worse for the world if Netanyahu is voted out? And, and by now, how many hours into uh, Tuesday are we already over there? Yeah, it should probably be about like five pretty, in the pretty afternoon. Pretty deep. So I guess we'll know this yeah. you know, by this afternoon. We'll know here what's, what's happened mm-hmm. over there. And even though it's the party, as, as Jim explained, which I didn't understand that really, to be honest. But if the other guy wins, then then the other guy wins. If the other guy, then Herzog becomes the name right, that exactly. we have to that we have to address in the news. Exactly, and that's you know where the opinions come in. You have one party where we all know what they stand for, the Netanyahu party, and then Herzog, the Zionist party. We are told what they stand for, so it's it's our opinion. All right, I don't know if this is going to push any buttons, but I was reading this thing this morning. I just want to read it real quickly. In recent history, the area called Palestine includes the territories of present-day Israel and Jordan. Mm -hmm. For early history, um, from 1517 to 1917, most of the area remained under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. Right. That's what you Uh, said. The residents of Palestine are called Palestinians. Since Palestine includes both modern-day Israel and Jordan, both Arab and Jewish residents of this area were referred to as Palestinians, mm-hmm. including those people living in Israel. So exactly. I don't know if I don't know if they if they look at it that way, but that's this science article I found online. Yeah, the history. All right, we've we've got a break. We'll be right back. Small studios. This is W O C A Ocala, Gainesville, the Villages, thirteen seventy AM, ninety six three FM, the Source. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. In the Boston Marathon bombing trial, jurors could hear from the owner of the boat where Johar Sarnayev was found hiding before his capture. Yesterday, they went to see the red and white boat and got a look at the bullet-ridden hull where Sarnayev wrote a note that denounces the U.S. for its wars in Muslim countries. They also heard testimony from three Watertown police officers that explained how Sarnayev and his brother hurled explosives, including a pressure cooker bomb at them. Fox Radio's Tanya J. Powers in Israel, the prime minister battling for an unprecedented fourth term. Neither of the two major blocs have really addressed the issue of the peace process with the Palestinians, with the exception yesterday of Benjamin Netanyahu, who, who ruled out establishing a Palestinian state. Sam Kiley with Fox Sister Network Sky News in Jerusalem. And financial markets shaken up on concern that interest rates in the U.S. could rise for the first time in nearly a decade. Fox News, we report, you decide. News Early Prime, breaking down business news and its impact on your bottom line. Your world with Neil Cavuto. That's how I do business. That's why I am business. Bold positions and brash opinions on the topics America is buzzing about. The five. How do you think this will set? 